done on Custom Works. We've been doing some stuff on the 60s truck. Let's see how that went. Let's get to the workshop. So then, what we've been up to on the 60s truck, we've got to get air, we've got to get air to the radiator essentially, and it is so important, we don't want to change the design of the front, so as always, this is hot rodding, we're working around a problem, sort of just solving problems as we go, and this is a style, most stylish way, hopefully, we're going to be able to get air into the engine. We're going to have some extra fans as well, but this is probably the most stylish way to get free air into the car. Also, Lee's been looking at some wiring and literally, wow, I don't even know how it works. Just to get what we've got working is amazing. So we'll be looking at that as well. On the front of the 60s truck, we need a wheel spat for just here, but also we need to get some air in because we've totally blocked off. Just the whole front of this car is absolutely blocked. So. Not quite sure what I'm doing with the design here, but I know it's going to have some sort of rate back air scoop, something that mirrors this. And I think the best thing to do is chop a big chunk of the car off and then take it from there. So I saw us all this section out just to see what we can get in. So what's happening here is um, the bumper of the original taxi is right down there and this has all been glassed into it so there's quite a bit of cutting to do. <laughs> right, so this bit is also glassed in from the back so I've cut all right the way around it. It's really loose but it ain't coming out so I'm going to give it a good whack. And once you get that out, this and the bumper were all fiberglass together and that was really tough. And at the end of the day, all I've got off is like this skin. This reinforcing bit is still there, but I'm going to try and chop the bumper out and get as much of this out as I can so that this is all just an open void behind there. Inside there, we can see, there we go, I've cut that whole corner of bumper out um, to get in there. But now, we've got that hole, now it's time to think how we're going to make this look nice. Alright then, so, cut this big hole, we need a, a vent and we want an oval vent, so I've made this. So two bits of die bond, cut out, nice and square. And then I've cut some drain pipe down, and that has given us this shape. And this shape is the shape that I want to form this vent. But as it is, it's not quite right. We need this, ang this angle of rake here to be repeated here. So what I've done, I've roughly marked this. Now I'm going to take it over to the saw and cut through there. And then hopefully it will have the right sort of angle cutting back there that is going to you know make this whole thing nice and stylish because we want to get air in we don't just want to spoil the crazy look of the car for a 
precision. Precision cutting. <laughs> Can't believe I got away with it. Right, so looking at it like this, this is looking pretty good. I'm thinking, this is on, it's looking about right, but we've got to think this has got actual practical use. We've got to get some air in the car. So what I've done, where I've got a void across here and down to the radiator, I've marked that off. I'm going to drill a big hole in here and then we'll be ready to sort of fit this. I'm thinking just foam it into place, if that makes any sense. I think it does. I think it makes absolute sense. Right, so that's looking pretty good and I've also drilled the hole there so the air comes in here, out that hole and across to the radiator. So I'm taking some aluminium foil tape. I'm going to stick it to the back of the box and to the inner wing. And what that, this will do, it will just contain the foam so that the foam doesn't just fall out the back. Right, so that's bridge with tape and I'll fill it with foam now. quite a deep sort of fill so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave that for 20 minutes I'll come back put another layer on and that just helps it all you know be cooked through for tomorrow when I'm going to sculpt this to shape so then it's the next day I've cut all the foam back and I've took a look at it I've looked from many different angles and I've realized it's not very good and this is following you know, a consultation with our head designer here. That's me. Hello, Kirst. Yeah, we've decided this just ain't right. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to go in with something else. And I think what I'm going to go in for is two, just two holes frenched into this nice curve. So the holes will have a good slash cut. But first off, we've got to get rid of this and we've got to get some tubing in there. And the tubing I'm going to use is is this, which is a plastic waste pipe. It's a good plastic that sticks well to fiberglass, just generally works well, and it's nice and cheap, and it's easily cuttable, so I can get that cool slash cut sort of look. And once this is through, what I'm gonna do, I can actually fit these corners on and just pipe the air using the rest of that pipe to the radiator. This all works quite well, really, but what I need to do is get it attached to the car and sculpt it into shape. And first, we got to get rid of this crap because what was I thinking? Really, what was I thinking? And there we are, back to square one, back to square one. Square one. See what I did there? Oh yeah. Genius. Now let's get some of them pipes in there and try and fit them in just randomly. It's all going to get fiberglass so we just need to get them in so they'll hold there. Probably going to have to cut some more out just here and here. But let's do it. To get through there so I had to cut through this is the end of the original bumper the bumper iron this plastic and then this overly thick piece of fiberglass which is really really strong but that holds the front together you know we're looking at probably about 20 mil thick just here really is um, super strong around the front this car is but that's what we've got to do so that had to move so we've moved it um, a lot of stuff to cut so now, what I'm going to do is mount 
these pipes in here, and you know what? I'm probably still going to have to take a bit off in there. But I want these pointing nice and forward, and then what I'll do, I'll chamfer these back in line with the body line. So what we'll have is like two teardrops going up there, but all within the body and perfectly frenched. And then we'll probably put something in those just as a, an extra detail. But that will really help get much needed air into this car. Right, so I've offered this pipe up. It's looking about right. I've said this before. I'll probably say it again. When you're doing any, any of this sort of plastic pipe, you've got to DA it off so it's got some grip to it because nothing will stick to this surface. It's just so slick and shiny and it's got a sort of a, almost a greasy feel. So I'm going to DA all this off before I mount it in. got this leveled in and I've got a little block of wood glued under there, a bit there and a screw in the back, but it's not strong but it's holding. Now I want the other the other tube to sit about there. So what I'm gonna do, I've got these bits of wood, I'm gonna drop them on there and then I'm gonna glue that to the top and then make sure they're held in the right position before we move on to the next stage. both in now, you know, they're there, like if I touch these too hard it'd fall out. What I'm going to do now is fill all of this around here with uh, with foam and I'll cut all this off in line with the curve of the bodywork so we'll have those beautiful sort of teardrops. Or we can maybe drop a chrome bullet in there, something like that, just to like set it off. What I'll also be able to do is attach to these pipes and go through there to the radiators and for once is something actually practical that the car needs for like cooling rather than the rest of it which is just for well just for cool actually for two days and this is all set really sound and what I can do is cut this off at the same angle as the curve of the wing so first I'm gonna hack a chunk off with the panel saw now I'll go in the grinder sander and get that shape just right <laughs> So all that foam is totally dried now and of course the foam's in this bit and I've gone over that with some silver tape, trimmed it back, trimmed these holes so we can still see them. Now we're ready to go on with some fiberglass. So I've sprayed this already with a bit of contact adhesive and now I'm going on with the glass. <laughs> doing here I am going to go on with three layers I have one more layer of matte here but I don't want to put three layers on with the glue because what will happen is I won't get any resin soaking back through about two is all you're ever going to get to soak through with gluing them on so now I'll soak this out in resin and then I'll pop that one over and that will just stick to the resin <laughs> Three 
three layers, all well soaked and looking like they've they've adhered well around there. I can see this dark line you see, so that's how I know that's adhered nicely to form that edge on the fiberglass. Leave that overnight and we'll come back to it and we'll smooth it out. The air ducts are all dry now. All of this fiberglass is rock solid and also because we can still see it because it's sort of translucent we can see that it's stuck to the edge of those pipes really really well so the next step now will be to trim this out trim this out give this a grind off make sure it's all level and then bodywork this into the panel ready for that all important front wheel spat to fit up to this now let's have a look what hot rod building legend cheap foos lee cox has been doing He's been doing a hell of a lot of wiring on this. Now, you know, to get the pop-up headlights to work, first of all, we couldn't, um, you know, we, the MX-5 or the Myata loom, we couldn't plug them into that. When they went up and down, you know, we had to fit, well, Lee had to fit micro switches, so it knows when it's up, knows when it's down. It's been a long process. And then to get them to light up and to get, you know, because it's a UK, we have to have side lights, dip beam and main beam all in the main headlights and that is the law so ain't gonna, this ain't going on the road unless we get that and with this headlight configuration there is no way but with the pop-up configuration we can get through an MOT now when the lights go up I know you've seen this before but now they come up they light up and it's on the actual stalk near the steering wheel the lights on this car will never be up for any show never be up for any photos they will always be down. They're just there for the law. If I had my way, we wouldn't have these lights and I'd just risk it on these. <laughs> but that's not the way the law works in this country. So they're there. Let's take a look at how they work. So in here, we have the, uh, the taxi column and everything. And to make those lights work, like if we just flick the lights on, they come up and then the lights are on. And also on the flash, just to like have that second of bright, they work there as well. Let's have a look what that looks like from the front. Check it out! Oh yes, we've got lights! No, there is no lights! Now we've got lights! No, there is no lights! It's brilliant. And finally, the Messiah of Wire has also been working on the bonnet. Now, the bonnet, or hood, if you will, that opens to the side and on an actuator. And it opens on an actuator because we are going to dress the engine in this car. It's going to look really good when it comes up. But also, actuator pushes it up, pulls it down. You don't have to have a latch. And this actuator is set up so when it gets down, click, it clicks off and that's it. And it holds it down on its screw mechanism inside. Just so much easier than putting a latch, a, you know, thing, it has to pop up, all of that. This looks cool and it's easier. Why wouldn't I do it? So let's check out how it looks when it opens. the bonnet is up so you know you can get under here of a Sunday gap your spark plugs check your velocity whatever it's diesel in it hasn't got spark plugs whatever but yeah that hulk takes it up holds it up pulls it back down everything works nothing catches and it's looking pretty damn good I love a side opening bonnet nothing says custom with a K quite like side opening bonnet backwards opening doors I think it's called suicide but all of that sort of stuff really adds to you know you pull up in the car the car already looks cool but then it all opens weird even cooler right see that going back down now
Okay then, so that is all we've got time for this week. I'll be back next week with more car-inspired mayhem. More cool stuff, more making, just more generally, really. In the days between now and then, don't forget, click the bell icon, do the like button, share, share the video, um, go on our Etsy store, buy a t-shirt, do any of that stuff, but most importantly, be back here next week for more cool stuff. This has been Custom Works. I thank you very much and good night!